Hey -o, it's Game Race Fighter. Uh, yeah. I got a, a spare half hour hour, so I thought I'd do another part of Dark Souls. Like, twice in a week, so hooray. Uh, don't know how long this part's gonna be, like I said, half an hour to an hour. Aethy was picking up, so if I sound slightly bunged up, you know, like with my nose or anything, it's because I am. So yeah, without further ado, let's uh... Now, this bit gave me trouble on my first time through. I will admit. Well, I think yeah, my, my first time I, I made it second time, but uh, yeah, these uh, these enemies are. This is where you like you you, you outright know it's like yeah they've gone back to the original Dark Souls because to be fair Dark Souls 2 had the problem of saving enemies and they've 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 cut that out of this game even like the humanoid enemies aren't. Oh, there, there, there's enough uh, non-humanoid enemies. Well, they're all humanoid, but you know there's there's non there's enough not human just knights in armor enemies to like this guy. He was no problem, but the the problem you can get with them is that they can kind of gank you. Quite a few of them spawn together, so maybe you can get one, but then the second one's going to fuck you up. Probably going to get invaded here, if I remember correct. No, I don't know. It's not a different area. Although I might get invaded by a player I am online. Then you can see how shitty Dark Souls internet general servers are because it, oh the lag, the lag Dark Souls has never been good with the lag. But for some reason, it, I've always found that being invaded in Dark Souls is awful. You you'll get uh. get a lot of issues. But when I've actually been when I've been summoned or I'm summoning someone, then things don't go that poorly. But I think it's because it loads in the game, so the enemies don't really glitch around a lot. Where if it's only player versus player, then a lot more can go wrong. And as you can tell now, my nose is starting to bung up. Uh, so sorry about that. But it's better than having no video, in my opinion. Still not now. That's, that's, that's two together. Let's see if I can separate one. Uh, no. Actually, a third one up there, but that's a ranged one. So as long as we stay, that's a poison mist. They're not too bad when you know what you're, that you're doing, but. Well, that was a scary moment. I don't know why I did that. There was no reason. I just looked at it and went, huh. Been alright so far, actually. I lose health if I f when I fall down here. No, I was gonna say I, ha I hate areas and games where they make you lose health. That's why, I like overall, like Grave Lord Nito isn't a hard enemy to me. In Dark Souls One, because I usually fight him later. But that fact that you have to. Oh god! Oh, okay. Anyway, you, you, you can definitely tell about the 
Dark Souls references there. That was essentially that the man eater from uh, the whatever it's called. You know where uh, uh, Quaylog is. Actually, a uh, a thing. They're treetops. So that's that's not a thing. I definitely know where every boss is in the game, anyway. So there's definitely no boss down there. You fell down. I think I was just very unprepared last time because this area was a lot tougher from what I remember. Nearly done this area already anyway, this is a very short little bit, this road of sacrifice. Yeah, I was like, why isn't the button there next to the thing if I've been playing my PS4? Three more Titanite shards and then we can level up our sword to the final thing before needing Titanite chunks. Actually, do we have any Titanite, anything else? I'm not quite sure what this area is actually for. Yeah, see this is the issue when you're getting multiple ones coming for you. But, as luckily that was the only one that actually charged and I got that first guy. Look, there's still like four guys. He bloody hit me. That was a uh, that wasn't a delay, by the way. That was just me like going, huh, in my head, just like oh, okay. See, so, like I was saying, like, look at the difference. But Aris just charged. He's still pretty ferocious. Yeah, mate, you're a bit slow. Look, they all know their place, at least. That guy's a support guy, so uh, he's not fucking useful. <laughs> That's it. That's the area done. Because the bonfire is literally down here. I need to die more. Oh, hello. How Apparently, this character is always the opposite sex to what your character is. Unkindled like you. It's just as a point of reference. A friend and traveling. I, I think that that is a thing. Are you too in search of the Lords of Cinder? We are well along the road of sacrifices, below us is the crucifixion woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies oh, some signs. home of the undead legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. We seek the cathedral, home of the grim Aldrich. We may go our separate ways now, but we are both seekers of lords. The next time we cross paths, one may find the other in a time of need. May the flames guide your way. See, the problem with a lot of characters, I'm pretty sure to. I don't know about need to, but a lot of them help with. Like, in Dark Souls 2, especially, is that you needed to summon people in order to carry on their storylines, and I'm not sure about in this game. I think so. And I don't want to summon anyone for any boss fights, so. We are well along the road of sacrifices. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep. We may go our step the next time we made a flame. 
now we can join the Blue Sentinels. Well, now we technically have joined the Blue Sentinel. Ten minutes in, and we've already done that for the next area of the game. Hooray! Right. This next bit might be an an issue. I always uh, dying a bit. If not a lot. There's some like deceptively annoying enemies which I'm pretty sure are stripped straight from Bloodborne, which I don't mind because Bloodborne is great. Oh, this one will basically tell us to fuck off. Hmm. You're an unkindled, aren't you? I am Sirius of the Sunless Rap duties we each bear. But once I doubt we've much to give blessing of the moon of so she she just kind of says that and it's kind of fucking useless until uh, something happens later in the game. Can you not sell me Titanite shards, woman? The fuck? Ashen Oh, I'll level up. Wait, what, what have we got? Ooh, we nearly had enough uh, vigor for me to be happy. Welcome home. I speak very well. Then take none. Well, like the entire game, pretty much. Like once we got this vigor to thirty, we won't be touching it again. That'll be our our, our health. When we're kindled like we are now, we'll have like 1300 health. Oh, more than that now. Oh, great. Brand! Oh, wait, can he sell his Titanite shards actually? That's a point. Ah, there you are. I was thinking. You know I'm a petty thief. Well. Perhaps I'll go on the prowl. Everyone's dead or hollowed away anyway, right? So I might as well fetch some weapons. Right. A treasure for you. Well, but I let him go. What do you say? Thank you. You will not be disappointed. Because last time he came back the first time, and I think he always does. But the next time he died. But I've looked online and I think I know how to save him. Until I ended up rotting in a cell. <laughs> he doesn't either. Yeah, so to be fair, the first time we might as well send him off because the only useful thing he sells is fire arrows, which aren't essential. They are nice, but they're not essential. To be fair, I'm gonna. Lock up now, just in case he does die. They are kind of useful later on in the game. Goodbye. I will leave. I'm not sure when he comes back but I think the first time he I, I, I can't I didn't activate any thing but I think the first time he sent him off he just doesn't die but I think the second time you have to send patches or uh, Sieg Meyer or Siegfund or whatever his name is to uh, help him otherwise he does die I think that's how it works but I don't know if it's the third because obviously he died before then So, now I know absolutely fucking jack shit about the the main plot. So I'm, I'm going to go the way I'm going to go, and see if it happens. See if everything happens as it might do anyway. I'm, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll do it, but. I'm not going to go out my way for the side quests, I'm probably not going to get them done. I think I went the wrong way first last time, like, as in, like, how to set up story. Okay, so let's, this, uh, yeah. So if you played Bloodborne, these guys should kind of look familiar. They've got this a different kind of setup, but there were guys with the crucif crucifixes that they were holding. I think it's basically a reskin of those guys. Oh, one more upgrade from my weapon, and they'll die in one backstab. That, that's annoying. The annoying thing about those guys, sorry. The annoying thing about those guys is that uh. They come in clusters. And as I've said plenty of times, the issue with Dark Souls is when you get ganked. Oh, 
bad way to separate any of them, then you're golden. Or at least you're better off. Let's see how much damage fire does. Uh, let's see how much damage fire does. Not a lot, okay. Although, the, oh, those guys do react badly to fire. Oh, yeah, see, this, this is the issue. Oh, look at that, look, it's just, it's the... The multipleness and the, the reach is just over the top. I don't like them enemies. They're easy to kill, but they swarm. Didn't mean. I don't actually mean to do that, but okay. I've got no uh, Estus uh, left. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, fuck. Well, I'll see how well I can manage. I probably died, but like we said. I kind of want to die a few times because I need to. Might remember these enemies, they've been in both Dark Souls games I think. They're definitely in Dark Souls 2 a lot anyway. Oh, I think we've got enough Titanite Shards as well. Oh, and there's a bonfire here which I missed until I'd already like cleared the area. So I was going through like the whole area to get to the boss and that, but... I think the... The, uh, the reason actually I think this is the easiest Dark Souls game is, I think, because there's a lot of bonfires in Oh! Oh no! There's a lot of bonfires in this game. Oh, roll! Woo! Uh, which I don't have a problem with. A lot of people have said like, oh, there's loads of bonfires, but at the same time people are saying it's the hardest Dark Souls yet, so I think it... Oh, God! Well, that's a little bit of magic. I'm kind of fucked though. Look at that health, and that's not coming back. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, it's just a guy. I was like, I was like, what? What mini boss has noticed me with that awful growl? And it's just a guy. Oh, oh! You hit the tree, you fuck! This is gonna go really poorly. Ah, you see him. Oh! Right, yeah. 
that's the terror you can get in Dark Souls. Out of Estus. I don't know where to go. There's a bonfire down nearby, I know it! Yeah, them guys are fucking annoying. I don't like them. But that's where the challenge is mainly in a lot of enemies, is just literally the, the swarm. It's like... It's like uh, bosses where you have to fight multiple enemies are always worse than just big bosses. So you'll quite often find that it's easier to get killed by like 50 rats if you find yourself in the same room than by a big boss. Like, obviously a big boss can kill you in one, but the rats can stun lock you in, you know, and it. Still, the has gone now, so he just won't return if he dies. Uh -huh. Oh, fuck it, why not? One. I don't even ever use them, to be perfectly honest. No, there's a lot of items I missed back there, so I'm gonna have to kill all those guys again to pick them up. That's kind of why a lot of people will say that halberds are the best, and to be fair, they've got a point because obviously you can. You've got the fucking range, so you don't have to be right near everyone. Oh, and you can hit multiple enemies. Yeah. My, my broadsword isn't. The reason I trouble so much actually with uh, swarming broadsword is fucking bad at it. Basically, there's no, there's nothing else to, to say that the broadsword just isn't very good. Main reason I had issue there, like with going, oh, I'm nearly dead, it's just because I didn't want to have to go through that again to get to the bonfire I was really close to. But, like, now that I'm here. I'm at the point again, like, right, right now, I'm like, I'd rather die around here. Where it doesn't matter. The moment I do my, I've, I've lost my ember. Because while I've got my ember, I might as well utilize it to the full extent of having that slight bit of extra health. But the moment I've lost it, I can just do that thing in the. Uh... I can just kind of keep throwing myself out of the, uh, you know, off the cliff in the uh, sanctuary. You know, at the firelink shrine, just because at that point there's nothing to lose. You don't lose more health like you did in Dark Souls 2, so. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, that's the... Uh, yeah, I've already played that game. Get on my channel if you want. Like, my Let's Play of it. But, uh, yeah, I was re-downloading it for my mum to play. Because, uh... She likes the Telltale game, so I thought I'd re-download it for her. Because, uh... My hard drive was... My Xbox hard drive was full. So I got rid... You know, I, like... I cleared it out. What? Oh, I hate this fucking Kinect. So my Xbox was full. But, uh... I bought an external hard drive a while ago, so now I can reinstall stuff. Oh, uh, which way should I go? No, I'll probably just go, I'll go this way. There's a, a magic user upstairs. To be fair, now that I killed that screaming guy, I didn't actually have to kill any of those, but uh, I'm committed now. Okay. Oh, 
again, big hat Logan hats around so you can tell the Dark Souls uh, influences well and truly here. Oh shit, I just realised. I think I might have done a. Uh oh. Uh, no, 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 no. Well, if I have, we'll, we'll see. It's not. It's not an essential. Uh oh. It's just like a bit of like. Oh, I probably should have done that. Oh! No! That's the problem, them guys will lure you into traps and them guys are there, but it's like, you, you want, you want... Oh! Okay, that guy really, uh, took the last prize. Uh, but you want them, don't you? Even if, like, right that, I don't need them. But, I don't need that crystal thing, but one of them might drop something that's useful. Un unlikely as it sounds. Why? In what possible way was the, every every time I record the mic just eventually just one at one point just goes and I'm free? And it's like why you're on a stable surface? There's nothing pulling you down. They're just going shows what you know, bitch, to me. No, I got pissed off with it and uh. I actually don't want to be over here. There's a couple of enemies in there that I'd rather not have to tackle. See him there, look. Should be if, if you can see him, you can, and if you can't, I can't help you. He's not obvious, though. I will, I will admit. Oh, yummy. Favorite game in the game. Hooray! I know it now, but I didn't know actually that this gear was really popular. Is he coming for me? Yeah, he is. Oh, that was actually a visceral attack state. Uh, there's two crabs in the area. One of them doesn't give me anything, which I'm assuming is that one. The other one drops a ring. Uh, big crabs, as you can see. Little munchkins here. No reason to uh, two hand this sword, it does damage difference is fractional. I just thought I'd try it. Yay! Hard enemy! Think that. They're short the spell casting time, so we don't need. So we're not gonna wear. That's the way to go forward, by the way. That is a way to carry on in the game, but it's one of two ways, and that's the way we first. Oh, I don't think. Well, 
that way is fine to go right now. I can I can handle it, but the boss at the end is something that I, I'm not going to be able to do. You want to die, Ace? I want to die, but on principle, I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> you know, if I can, if I can attempt, if I can attempt to not die, I'd rather do it that way. However, it's probably a thing that I'll probably go to the. If I don't die before, then I'll probably try the boss at the end, even though I've not got enough to. To beat it, in my opinion, just because, uh, you know, that means I will die, but then it means I will have tried. Well, I don't know. Well, this is unexpected. This is the the main sorcery salesman, by the way. If that's what, what you're up you to. Want? This is my study that you've happened upon. If you haven't any business, I've reading to get back to. How intriguing. You'd better not. Sorcery is not for everyone, and should never be forced. You have your own methods. Sorcery yeah, I don't want them, but, you know. Don't let it bother you. Be on your way, then. You're unkindled. Oh, well, nothing has changed. It is either a natural fit. Be on your way, then, or unkindled. Right, okay. Oh, well, it is either on your way, then, or unkindled. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you, uh, that's what I was saying, right. Uh, you need ten intelligence to talk to him. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> uh, so, uh, anyway, you need ten intelligence to talk to him. Uh, for him to come back and sell your stuff, so... W will I do that? Nah. I don't know. Uh, I don't need it. Although, I, I think later I might, so I might wait until then and then do it, because I want Fire Orb. That I'll get later. You'll know what that is, I think, if you're watching this. Oh! enemies that can attack slightly faster than you because they always fuck it up. Is this? Stan? We're not having your help. Uh, do See, again, look, one Estus, not at full health. Not looking very happy, is it, for us? Uh, la 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 la. La 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 la! la. I just need more Estus. But it's that annoying thing where it's probably going to kill me my first time anyway. But I'm just there like, I, just, I can't, I can't win, I don't, well, I have the potential to, but I don't think I'm going to win. So I don't want to fight it with that knowledge of me losing. But if I die when I'm at capacity, then you're like, oh well, I died, whatever.
See if I can get back and do my awesome runs again, eh? I was doing this last time, I could make it back with only getting hit like once with little shit. Oh, you see? Made it. I find the best strategy is to fucking just book it to her. For the first stage anyway, there's two stages this boss fight. Now will be stage two. This is the tricky bit. Oh, is it not? Oh. Very strange. Oh yeah, she was luring me out. I always find there's she there's three clones. I found the best way to deal with her is to kill two of them, because one of them on their own isn't really that big of a deal. Ooh. Although, except for when it's there, like right now. Oh, okay, this is uh, going very well. The problem is, if they're in places like that... Oh, we won! If they're in places when they're in the open, then you're in an issue. Like that, though? Just that? Uh, yeah, you... there's no, no, no issue. One more video, one more boss down, then. No, I was really thinking right now. I won't get a boss done. No way. Forty minutes, I know, but not bad. The question right now is which way to go from here? Do I go the other way towards the other boss without killing it? You know, obviously, because I won't. Well, I could try, but I don't. I don't think I will. Or should I go? The, the way I'm supposed to go anyway. <laughs> Welcome must speak very well. then touch take nourish. Alright, uh, health is exactly what where I want it for the whole game. That's it. That massive health bar. That ridiculously big health bar at the top of the screen. Uh, that health won't always be like that, because that's because we we get like thirty percent extra because we're because we're uh, kindled, we're, we're kindled. Oh, how? Ashen one. Oh, wait a minute. What? Welcome. Was I looking at something wrong there? Yeah, I was. I can, I can level up again. Okay. Uh.
endurance or start on my strength? I'll say I'll get my endurance up so it's at least at a hundred. My stamina, I mean. So one more level should do it. Stamina doesn't really get leveled up that much, even though it's probably the most vital of the three. I don't know, they're all pretty vital. Although our uh, focus points are probably the least vital. I am. <laughs> What we could do, actually, next time we get enough, is we'll probably level up our flame. Do not oh yeah, that's how I get the bow. I remember now. Uh, when Grey Rat comes back, he'll have more stuff, and one of them is the short bow. I'm going to end it here at 40 minutes, so you don't have to hear my bunged up voice for longer than you should. We did a boss, we've done something, and I've used up my free time quite well. And I can actually start hearing my voice, it's pissing me off. So, thanks for watching, and listen to my retarded voice as you watch more shit from Kid Gamer and stuff. Bye!